I'm so hungry now. Oh, I love seeing so many familiar faces. This going to make this so much easier. Jay, Becky, Ashley, Sarah. Well, everybody, go ahead. Hello, my name is Todd St. Ange. I'm originally from San Diego, California. Um, let's talk about San Diego a little bit. And this will kind of give you a background about me. San Diego uh, was now the number two city. Let me slow down. Slow down. San Diego is beautiful. San Diego has a lot of culture. And I kind of missed that culture when I came over here. That's my happiest place in the world, Balboa Park, if you don't know about it. It's amazing. This is my family. Can't do it without my family. It's my babies. You know, can't, that's Jude. My mom always prayed to the patron St. Jude. So that's why we named him Jude. And I love the Beatles song, St. Jude. This is my daughter, Kelly Rose. We went to, on vacation in California and something happened and we came back pregnant. So anyway, so there's culture all over San Diego, cars, all this stuff. This was my neighbor's car in San Diego. You know, you don't see much of this over here in Charleston anymore. So I exposed all this culture in muralistic art, which is so widely accepted in San Diego. You know, the city totally encourages it, which Charleston's starting to encourage it, which is great, you know, but not in the historical buildings. But, you know, it could be tastefully done and all this stuff. So I kind of was used to seeing this type of art displayed. God, it's going by so fast. Anyways, but, you know, it could be done, you know, very tastefully and muralistically. And there's so much culture in San Diego, which I'm tied to, you know. I mean, giant banks. This is Wyland, if you know who Wyland is. This is a giant mural in San Diego. So the city loves it. This is, the ch this is chart. This is Charleston getting into it, which is awesome. Jeff, this is my building. This is what I wish I could do to my building, you know. But anyways, um, so, and I also love music, and I love that. So let's... This is really going handsomely well. So, anyways, so in high school, I played drums in a heavy metal band. <laughs> it's me playing drums. This is my little mock photo album cover. This is the cops telling us to come turn it down one night. Look how old the cop cars are. That's how old I am. So after that, I got into electronic music, which I'm still a big fan of. So this is me DJing, which mad props to the DJs up there for still playing vinyl. Um, <laughs> So anyways, but you know, then I started going to lots and lots of parties and raves and such, and going back to slides was a flyer at a party. And always when you go to parties in San Diego or in LA, they give you like the whole rundown of all the AV included in this party. <laughs> how many lasers would be there? How many watts of sound are gonna be there? It's all, so you'd make your decision on which party you would go to by how many things were included in the party. So anyways, but going to parties and doing lots of fun things at parties. My parents are here. so. I really got into lighting and all that stuff and really took an appreciation of doing lighting, you know. So what you're seeing now is my work here in Charleston. So how does this all tie into murals? So, you know, it's kind of like painting, but taking it right down and not being so permanent about it. So this is where I got into it. So this is a little time lapse of a set we did in Savannah. Watch it happen. But you can see how, look how fast we work. So much Red Bull that day. But... You know, I just, being able to color with light so dramatically and, you know, blink your eye and the whole room's a different color is just, it's in all of me. It's like my acceptable version of graffiti or muralistic art, if you would, you know, so that's why I really latched into it in San Diego. Now, coming to Charleston, I really tied into the wedding market and doing Fashion Week. <laughs> so... Come on, y'all, go to Fashion Week. So, oh, it's gonna be epic. Anyways, but, so, um, but, you know, this kind of, and then Charleston Fashion Week took me to New York Fashion Week, which is great. So I did some shows in New York for Mr. Michael Knight. Thank you so much. With my good buddy Scott Galatoli out there. It was awesome. So here's an example of light. And next slide. Bam, same ballroom. Woo, totally different event. So, you know, that's the magic and beauty of light, you know. This is the Railroad Museum in Savannah, Georgia. We did a giant wedding there. It was the first wedding I ever did when we had a tractor trailer worth of gear. This is the convention center in Charleston. This is a bar mitzvah, and this is the end result. So you just see, you know, I wish I could explain more of this. This is the, this is, I'm trying to show you before and afters now. This is before and after. So you can see, you know, with, with all these components come together now and just with lighting and fabric and stuff. Now, and also building stuff now, too. I just love lights, period. 
and all that is production. This is a big chandelier I made for a wedding, which I, I'm so blessed with all the planners in this industry, in this town, that give me the opportunities to do this and work with them, which I love. This is another giant wedding in Conway, South Carolina. Who knew, right? <laughs> woo woo! Love Conway. It's Mingo Point, you know? So it's just kind of, I don't, I mean, from lasers to bare light bulbs, from projectors to concert PAs, I'm all about it, you know? But breaking it down on, I know you need to go back to my sisters. I have four sisters and a brother. And let me explain this really quick, how this benefits my, and where I work now. Man, you know, growing up in a household with four sisters, you can imagine, managing those personalities was fun. So, working with wedding planners, it's almost the same. It's very similar. I know how to, you know, back out, you know, don't poke the bear, so to speak, you know, or stuff like that. So, I love them so much. They're so good to me. They let me, we all get to co-create. This is us draping all of Memory Auditorium in three days. This is just one half of it. But, I mean, we get to walk in and like, how about this idea? We'll do this and that. And they're like, let's do it. And I just, I mean, to be given those opportunities, especially in this town, is amazing. In San Diego, you don't have this type of opportunities. You know, this type of community, which is something to be so grateful for. You know, there's so much camaraderie as far as being creative and everyone wanted to produce a, a, a fantastic product for the end user, which I'm so thankful to be involved with. And then now we're getting this total national recognition, which we can all applaud each other for, you know, which is epic. So my name is Todd St. Ange. I love you all. And that's me in two seconds. <laughs> so I hope that was good. I hope that was good. I'm so sorry. Hit me up. Hit me up. <laughs>